Hey Cassie crew, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we are diving right into The Sims 4 Seasons. Is this a pack that is worth buying if you don't have it? And is it a pack that's worth playing with again if you do already have it? Let's refresh our memories and really see what this pack has to offer. If this is what you came for, get comfortable because we are getting right into it. All right, so pretty much the Sims 4 brings seasons to the game. It's fall, winter, spring, summer, everything. So what that means is you're getting a lot more weather. You're getting thunderstorms. You're getting snowstorms. You're getting rain, everything. Okay, so if this is what you like, I think this is going to be a great addition to your game because other than that, it's pretty flat. It's pretty much the sun shining, birds chirping every single day. So there's not a really good amount of dynamic in the game so just with this one pack with adding seasons you're already mixing things up a lot and we haven't even really gone into the gameplay yet we're really just still on just the weather by itself so that already is a huge bonus for the game and this isn't just a visual thing weather impacts your sims lives in winter they'll need a bundle up it or they'll freeze which is so annoying as soon as i start seeing my sim going blue i'm like oh my gosh get in the house get in the house now <laughs> In summer, they'll be sweating buckets if you don't give them fans or air conditioning. Spring brings rain and you'll need umbrellas unless you want to just see your sims get soaked. Just some people don't care. One of the biggest highlights for me in seasons is the holidays. I love Winterfest, which is Sims version of Christmas pretty much. You can decorate your tree, you can have like a dinner, you can open presents, things like that. They also have Harvest Fest, where it's pretty much Thanksgiving, have a big feast again. Um, you know just be thankful and things like that and then they also have love day which is pretty much valentine's day you can exchange flowers you can go on dates things like that so if that is something that you're interested in they also have new year's eve so yeah so they also have holidays where you can make up your own so if you want a holiday where all you guys do is go to the beach and get in the water and swim all day then that can be a holiday if you want a holiday where all you do is sit around and eat fruitcake all day then that can be a holiday like you literally have full control over creating your ho own holidays where you can take time off you can have your sims take time off celebrate the whole day celebrate a couple days you know whatever you choose to do you can actually add more into the game with that which i like okay so next up we have the gardening overhaul for all my garden lovers out there this pack changes things up plants now grow based on the season so no more random roses in the winter you'll need to plant around when crops are in season which adds a little strategy to the mix for me i really didn't like this <laughs> i'm not a huge gardening person and if i plant things i want to see them grow i don't want to sit there and be like oh um sorry your crop is out of season like no i planted it i want to see it grow i am very angry with you right now <laughs> so if you don't like this even if you add it to your game like there are ways to you know get around it um whether you use mods and i believe there is something also in game where it says they don't go by the season i don't know but there is a way around it so don't worry about that if you're like me and you don't like that so another interesting like small but interesting feature is the thermostat i really like this because now you can turn up the heat in your home if it's cold outside or you can turn on the air in your home if it's like really hot outside so like i was saying before your sims won't freeze to death and they won't like burn up either sims will also react to the weather like thunderstorms is going to scare them a lot um i don't remember if the traits have a reaction like if someone is not really that fearful or something like has a trait that they're brave or something maybe they won't react to thunderstorms as much but on a regular basis they will or if it's super hot outside they'll like you'll see them like trying to cool off so you, those little things characteristics are being added to the sims in this pack which i do like because it gives them a little bit more personality all right so now let's jump into create a sim so i do love that seasons does really come with like quite a bit of new outfits for not only the adults but also for kids as well okay Buki, i have my little baby with me yes you helping mama um so yeah i really like that about it so if you are looking for some new cast items this is a really good pack got some bathing suits in there and also for kids they have quite a few things as well so you will definitely have some options here i do have some cc mixed in but for the most part you will get a good variety of new um and create a sim outfits for both boys and girls 
let's just take a look at some of the boy ones here <laughs> why did they make this boy look like this what is happening what is happening <laughs> oh my gosh all right so yeah let's go back to clothes there are some new clothes here <laughs> the hair is killing me i cannot but look at this little swim set it's so cute and now let's take a look at toddlers um here oh these are so cute but yeah there's not as much for toddlers but you know they do still get a few things all right, so last but not least, we're going to be going over some build and buy mode. So first is the buy mode. We have obviously some Christmas trees here. We have this like planters wall, walling in the garden, Christmas trees, planted planter, these cute little mirrors, curtain logs, fireplaces. Some of my favorite things that this pack comes with are the kitty pools. Like the toddlers just look so cute in there. The kids and adults can also, I think, lounge in there as well. Um, we have some decorations. We have these little pumpkins, these wall decorations, nutcrackers. And also, I love this, the water balloon fight. <laughs> this is so cute. I love when they can like play with that. Obviously, like I said, adding presents, opening presents. You can sneak a present and it looks really cute when they're opening them. Um, comes with some new beds, some new dressers, the sprinkler system here, and it comes with a craft table like for kids. And then there is this flower arranging thing because it does come with flowers and stuff. <laughs> and <laughs> these packets are the seasonal packets. So you can see here, I put a couple on the ground here. Seasonal winter plants, seasonal, seasonal spring plants, and this is fall and summer here and also you can do beekeeping that's another really great gameplay thing that this comes with is you can be a beekeeper so if that's something that you're interested in this pack will be really good for you and it does come with four seasonal food stalls so there is the winter fall summer spring and they all offer different foods i believe this one so Food and drink for the summer so grilled burgers i know winter has like hot chocolate things like that and then the spring i don't know what that one has yeah so it's all different things so you can, guys can place them at like festivals and stuff and kind of explore or just keep them at your house and hire a vendor whatever you want to do do it for a party uh so those are some really quick interesting buy things also if you're interested in build, which I'm not that much of a builder to be honest, but I did want to show you just in case you are some build things that they do have. So here are some new doors that they have, some new windows, fences, stairs. Let me see here. I think that's pretty much it. Mm, they have like one stone wall here not much for walls let's see for floors what they have yeah not that much for floors either guys so it's not really that much for build but if you like building this probably isn't the pack for you that wouldn't be the reason to get it but everything else i think this is a really solid pack i think if you're gonna get any pack seasons is definitely one of the ones to get so is it worth it yes it is most definitely worth the money a lot more of the other packs and i think it is definitely a staple in your sims game anyone starting out with the sims so that is it for today um if you're not part of this cassidy crew make sure you subscribe we are almost at 25,000 subscribers yay so make sure you subscribe yes you watching this video right now hit that subscribe button it's absolutely free but it definitely helps the channel and give this a big thumbs up if you enjoyed watching this and you want me to do more reviews let me know i'll see by the likes how many likes this gets so yeah that's it i'm gonna put these videos on the screen because i think if you watch this video all the way to end you'd really be interested in these and i will see you guys in the next video bye